six month old condensate thing and the float is sunk. It's not floating. Uh, corroded out. Probably again. I got a piece of junk unit. Piece of junk. Eighty degrees in the pan here. If I didn't touch it, uh, it's just how it is. Okay, um, pan's working fine. Uh, plenty hot. Just uh, we have too high a humidity and too high a temperature. The problem was uh, you had all these drinks that were stacked in here. Um, I pulled them out and put them over here. Uh, you can't stack drinks in here, you break the air curtain. This unit is what's called an air curtain unit. You must have this air vents open so that the air can flow across here and create a closed space. When you block this off, it creates a hole where hot air and humidity goes in here, you make more water, you overflow your humidity, your drain in the back. Also, this unit is not designed to run in a it's 81 degree, 81% uh, relative humidity right now uh, out here in San Clemente. This unit is only designed to work in 75 degrees Fahrenheit room and 55% relative humidity. Anything higher than that and it will create more water overflow of the pan because the pan's not designed to handle the higher ambient and the higher humidity. So that's, those are the problems. All right. Uh, hands really hot. Okay, world. Uh, hey, this is kind of a little review on this uh, Evapoway uh, condensate pan. Uh, the bottom line is a piece of junk. Piece of junk. This is the second one. This is the original one that was in an open air cooler, um, and the float got all corroded uh, within within a year. Uh, that float got crowded uh, under a year and the second one they sent me a whole new one and the second one that I just put in there is showing signs of starting to be corroded also and it's given it's sticking the floats sticking on the bottom uh, like it's flat and it like sticks to the bottom sometimes or something uh, Pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Biggest piece of junk uh, evaporator, evaporation pan I ever seen. Uh, really cheap floats, really thin. They get water in them really easy. So uh, just a FYI, uh, don't buy one of these things. Piece of junk. Uh, so I don't know if you guys are having the same uh, issues. Let me know if you are or not. But. Um, Pretty interesting they have this overflow thing here uh, so I guess you could run this to a drain or something but if you had a drain close by you why would you need one of these things <laughs> it's kind of crazy anyways hey I uh, just I've been using the heck out of this uh, my fuel and uh, use it a few times already to put some screws in she did an attic the other night um, put a bunch of plywood down broke it broke off of course a couple of screws you got to be real careful uh, works pretty good uh i really like it being so small and lightweight um and it's got and it's got all the adjustable settings on it which is cool um but yeah i'm happy with it so far um but anyways so what i'm gonna do basically right now is just i just uh disconnected the float and i'm just gonna hot wire it uh so it just runs on the thermo Thermo disc, um, and we'll see how that works for a while. The floats are totally get another one, or I think I'm gonna get a bigger pan because I don't think this is even big enough. Uh, the new one that he put in there, since we got summer heat and the restaurant's hot and high humidity outside, the new the new pan can't even keep up. It's overflowing and it's working. Um, so I'm gonna put get a bigger pan. Or put two pans in there thinking either or so 
Hey, give me your uh, give me you guys' uh, comments if you guys have ever put two pans under a unit. What I was going to do is use this old pan and just use it jumped out and put a tube put a tube from this one to the other one on the other old pan that's the same as this one. Um, uh, and just join them together with a piece of rubber tube. So it, if this one fills up, it'll go in the other one. <laughs> Run dual pans. So uh, let me know what you guys think about that idea. All right. So, anyways, uh, evaporate. This particular model is a piece of junk. Do not buy. All right. Uh, so, oh, also, I uh, might as well put down how many amps it draws. Um, let me put the phone down just for a second. I gotta see if I can plug this thing in with one hand. Maybe. No, oh, let me put it back. Okay, right, let's see how many amps hang up. Okay, accidentally shut the camera off. Uh, this is how many amps this draws. Uh, 4.8 amps. Um, and, uh, so that's that, uh, 4.8 amps. Okay, I also wanted to let you guys know, um, this is, I jumped it out, um, so you can just do the ohms right across the plug, and your ohms come out to be, to ohm your heating element, uh, see if it's good, uh, 24.2 ohms for, uh, one of these things that's a year old that still works uh, the easiest way by the way to uh, bypass a float if you need to temporarily is just uh, pull off the wires the one wire go into the uh, high temperature safety and this white wire the neutral was wire nutted to the other side of the micro switch for the float um, so all I did was just unwire nut this and I just put a, a push on on the on the end of the neutral wire put it on the side of the hyper high temperature safety so we still have high temperature safety it'll just cycle on high temperature safety all the time um, not the greatest thing in the world but uh, work for testing purposes to see if it'll keep up uh, uh, see if the other one's screwing up too you could use it for testing purposes just uh, if it runs 24 7 if it'll uh, keep up with the amount of condensate so anyways uh, yeah well that's that's that okay uh, thanks for watching uh, click like on the video all right take care Bye. so I was thinking that since this float should be able to hear it full of water literally full um, anyways, uh, I was going to use a cork, but don't do <laughs> what I did and snip this off because this rod, once you put it in the cork and you don't have enough rod to come up and push this thing up. So, uh, just thought I'd mention that. Don't do what I did. So this ain't going to have to get a new float. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can get a new float. And just, I guess, you just uh, replace floats in this thing every six months or a year. I guess once a year. Stock up on the floats, guys. <laughs> okay, uh, click like on the video and subscribe. Thanks, bye. Hey, at least uh, pans and if you clean them up every like six months for customers, you customers, people, uh, every three to six months, if you take these things apart and uh, wash them scrub them with a uh, green green and yellow sponge the 3m sponge uh they'll clean up a little bit they clean up okay but this thing's only like a year old and you can i can already see the corrosion starting in the back of the pan going to go through all right through the actual pan itself so these are a piece of junk and I noticed on here 
I think this is just one of those container pans that they put in uh, refrigerators because it has uh, this Volrath thing on here. I think that's the part number for a Volrath. Uh, just a little, uh, you know, the containers that they put in the prep tables. I think that's what this container is. Sure looks like it. So, uh, anyhow, zoom back out. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but anyways, cleans up okay. So, five or ten minutes. Just give it a clean up and use this for emergency condensate. Uh, emergency jobs, a spare one. While you go get a, uh, a new one or something. And look what this tag says. Keep pan clean. Periodic maintenance should be performed or preformed monthly. Who the heck uh, did the uh, proofreading on this? It's supposed to be performed. P-E-R, not P-R-E, preformed. Um, periodic maintenance, yeah, like... Keep pan clean. Yeah, like that's gonna happen, kind of like condensers. Yep, okay. Just thought I'd show you that tag. Yeah, right. <laughs> 